Hello, it's Icy. I am back. Uh, so, the shield thing. Apparently you just walk in and it starts working. Oh, moving drains the shroud's energy when it runs out personal. I'll see you and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. I see. Medical Bay key card. Don't have it. Great work. Thanks. Okay, so we've gone the wrong way. I'm trying to steal as much buff as possible while just standing still. What is this? Oh. Oh, how interesting. Okay, so we've gone out of... So basically just reset. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Same. She's worried about you a lot. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? No. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Hi. What's the problem, Jessie Doyle? The truth is, I'm not sick. Right. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Okay. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? No. See, I owe them a lot. I might have oh. missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Uh, what'd you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. <laughs> you, yeah, you think the board has somebody following you, and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. Oh, I'm a thief. Okay. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Mm -hmm. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Hang on. But allegedly, I'm the first person from the Lost Hope. Right. What's this got to do with the board? Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the oh, diamond. Oh, right. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Hmm. Ellie asked me to help you. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me... I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. All right, I'll talk Thanks to him. Thanks for helping me with the board. 
you're a real pal. Mm -hmm. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty much. Did I give you cool armor to wear? Oh, no, I see. We're in costume. Right. Uh, how are we going here? Oh, no. We can unlock this for free. We made it. Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. All right. Hi. Oh, Can't Vanessa. Can't say I've seen you before. Oh, Dr. Wonder, sorry. I take sorry. it you're a freighter captain? If you're uh, here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. Yeah. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Uh, Willis says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Uh, who's Arian? Our delivery man. Okay. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. I see. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Uh, what do you need the mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The Why board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't ah. hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I can find I'd him. be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay, thank you. Can I help you out? Hi. Any word on Jessie? Uh, she's in debt to the board and thinks someone's after her. I'll handle it. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Okay. Thanks for that. Uh, that was a terrible accent, and I apologize. Right. So, we've gotten about halfway around, right? Um, oh my god, who the hell are you? Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. <laughs> okay, you work for Space's Choice? Ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. Which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. It's not too bad. They're struggling with the Edgar Tots. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spirit. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. Somebody so, what can I get is you? going to so, cosplay as this guy. So. Everyone will love Absolutely. you Absolutely. <laughs> True. Uh, fair warning. Oh, look, I've got to ask about the hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. Uh, are you doing alright in there? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Can can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog. Which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time. But we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Do you miss eating Don't solid miss food? Out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon colony. Where can I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew what it 
it's like in here. I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Do you have to sleep with it on? Trouble sleeping? Try our Lunar Eclipse Mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. Mm -hmm. A blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Uh, do they make you wear it? an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school... Only to make him wear this hat. Do you need help to get Even out of it? Even if my contract didn't forbid it. I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. <gasps> now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green. The future is Spearmint. Uh, I'm addressing the man beneath the mask. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. Okay. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. I'm sorry if I pushed you too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Uh, you still logged into a public shit. channel. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Okay, what are you saying? Anything and everything. Whatever you want. We got it. And when you need... All have right. a look. Show me what you've got. Just to make him happy. Oh my god, that was... Kind of, uh... Kind of, kind of, kind of disturbing, actually. That was, uh... That was definitely disturbing. Look, it's worthwhile just unlocking stuff, just because, um, you get skill points. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Rest and go keycard. What is a rest and go? Ooh. Uh, sure. I don't need to sell absolutely everything, just just a few bits, right? Okay, so what is this rest and go key card, hey? Hey you. Just to steal it all. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. Uh yeah, I understand. What do we have here? If it's between the unreliable and the rest and go, I believe I'll sleep on the ship. For the following story. Oh, so this is the rest and go? Cosmo finals are scheduled to air soon. But a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Right. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stims. <laughs> a toss ball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. Unfair disadvantage. News. Remind Hi. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. 
business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Uh, I'm looking glad. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Okay, how's life on the ground right now? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. And how's the ground Our Chief the Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. Mm. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Tell me Our about local sublight. garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Unusual in the head. What an interesting way to just say that. Uh, do you do business with the promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company mm. ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. Mm. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. You are not wrong. Ooh, ooh, unlock with key. <gasps> Which key did I just use? Oh, I see. Oh, no. Are these random? Okay, am I lame enough to reopen to see what I get from the other boxes? Probably not. I don't, I don't think. Oh, what's a tremor cleaver? That sounds fun. Don't mind me. Do we go up? You might go up later. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to the about applying for military training. How you doing? Your life to if I am the thing about living on a space station. No pigeons to feed. Oh, okay. Oh, you can feed the sprats, sure enough. But then the neighbors start moaning about hygiene. This is a very big room for a spaceship, where presumably you have a limited storage. Are they what I think they are? Yes, they are. Thank you kindly. I do find that, yeah, if anywhere there's places you can unlock stuff, it pretty much gives you a couple of, um, a couple of things to pick up anyway. So we'll go upstairs in a minute. Hey, Spacer. Huh? I like your helmet. Hey, Gladys. How you doing? Ooh. Okay. Hi, Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Mm. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. <gasps> 100,000 bits. It won't be cheap. 10,000 bits. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. I can flirt with her and go, my, no one's found my bit lurking. Uh, any chance of a discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime. Did he tell you? No. Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. <laughs> huh. 
He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Tell me about the opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little mm. moral flexibility. Okay. Might be this would help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... All right, let's hear it. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Mm. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Right. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And okay. Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Why? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Okay. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Alrighty. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Right. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Right. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Mm. Okay, men out points. Don't forget corporate to secrets. come find old Gladys when you're done. Okay, what do you know? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson. Yep. Groundbreakers chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find I'm her fretting in engineering. On it. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for Fen someone call me a liar. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. She seemed pretty neat to me. Well, aren't you sweet? And just her type, too. What? What's that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. <laughs> Alright, tell me about the opportunity. Yes, dearie. Yes, do oh, Take dear. that darling ship of yours down to Roseway. Okay. Shouldn't be too tough for a lot. Let's talk what about something want, else. Um, My hard earned wisdom. Yep. Tell me about the Groundbreaker outside the board. That's control. right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. The only station, presumably. So for how long? I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Tell me. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, ma'am. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. Okay. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Tell me about the hate. Groundbreaker's radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. Tell me the why. The board can't abide a community that won't bend. Oh, yeah. They've always got... But it okay. won't work. No, ma'am. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, right. law. What did you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. Mm -hmm. What about non-famous players? I earned quite a reputation as a fifth back during my penitentiary... Uh, seminary days. You do have a favorable mop, I must say. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Why they recall the still of keys? And they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. Mm. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. Uh -huh. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What do you make, do you Those think board that? folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. The but old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. How many people Probably. done there? Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Okay. 
Right, I got a candy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the candy. Hmm, more secrets. But we'll finish looking. Alrighty. Bathroom. Uh, we got more. Let's just go upstairs, I think. Alrighty, I guess we'll break in that when they're not there. Uh, nobody's watching. Well, I can't sneak it whilst being stealthed. These are huge rooms with one bed. One bed! It makes perfect sense down on the planet. It makes no sense at all. Up here though. Terminal. Pay to view movies. Diamond level guests. Peruse our catalogue. My big canid friend. A lab grown canid goes on an adorable rampage, leading a family of scientists a wild goose chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore, but the family soon realizes that true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. <laughs> Raided. Fun times simulated rampage and body counts. Now let's speak seven primal affections. Raised in the wilderness by wilderness primals, one man will leave the jungle he knows to explore for the one he doesn't. Keystone. He come for Nana's bank, but he stayed for love. Can a young corporate executive call this creature? Or will she awaken the beast within? Rated for passion, anthropod, consensual, Nana spanking. Cereals. Okay. Baking with Edna. Chef Edna gives valuable life lessons while she cooks in the book of approved cakes. Learn to maintain a structured kitchen. Obey your head chef. Achieve a good sponge. And obey your sous chef. Edna is the boss in her kitchen. Now she can be the boss of yours. Space hospital. The walls of an orbital hospital could talk. They'd be shrieking with terror. These doctors have seen it all. Zero-G cislacing. Extraterrestrial tetra tetratoma. Next, on a very special episode, in order to trap a chem thief, Dr. Margrave must become a serial arsonist. Don't forget to see Space Hospital's nights for steamy suspense. Broderick's board. An ordinary colony family daydreams of the extraordinary. While Lucy works the fanning, factory canning processed boss, her ham-handed husband cooks up schemes to land her a big promotion. Will that lovable fool ever learn to be satisfied with what he has? Broderick's brood, sorry, is a testament to the less is success family lifestyle. I see. Toss ball cards. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Do you know what we might just... Can we close it? Now that we've... I don't know if uh, people will watch me and get cross, but hey. Did I? Was there something there? That was odd. I can sleep in the bed. And the little one said, roll over, roll over. Wow, well that was a waste of, that was a waste of card. All right, well, let's explore out here then. And see what we can see. Ooh. I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicar? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is... Uh, Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate flares before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sub story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. If no one agrees to take me on cr as crew, I just suppose that's how I'd die. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicar. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. 
Well, you sure could uh, use her manners, though. Oh, wait, is this isn't this the medical hospital where we were? Are you telling me I just missed getting out through there? Well, that's annoying. I could have... I didn't have to lockpick or do anything dodgy there. It was just a different... Ah, oh, fine. A different way to get in. This is how okay. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Yep. Because she remembers... I sure do. But we've seen that one. All right, so let's go talk to this guy. I mean, I guess we better. I think it's time. I think it's time. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. <gasps> I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. Probably. How you doing? Passcode to unlock. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. No. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Uh... Okay. I'm gonna just, yeah. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Tell me about your relationship. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You mm -hmm. have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, yeah, sure did. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Mm hmm Tell me, how did he die? Uh, he died in a skate pod accident? Or he was eaten alive by feral? He just died in a skate pod accident. Oh. Awful business, that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. I should have told him the story. He wants a story. I'm very sorry, but can't get back right, to the topic. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Oh. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> what? You, what? There. I've removed the flag from your ship. Oh. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, uh. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Uh... Anything at all? Why is the board so interested in Wells? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Uh, he never mentioned Phineas that's... Wells. <sighs> well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? What's th about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Can I help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. I can't tell you where it's he is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. Yes. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Mm -hmm. I paid off for her. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member What's of What's the price? Crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. You're charging that much for emotional anguish? I am really? extremely anguished, Captain. 
Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. <gasps> I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. I I'll cover I'm it. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform us, <gasps> girl, that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Something else. Be my guest. Um, what are the locked doors at the back? A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. And does he visit here often? Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. I see. And um, what do you do? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. <laughs> what do your hands do? Uh, it's big fish in a small space station. I have few complaints. Uh... Is it hot in here? Oh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Uh -huh. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. Uh -huh. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Mm, excitable. Oh, sweetie. I don't owe a Greek <gasps> stand wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. Take it back. Now. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Does that work, Pavani? Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess? Uh-huh. Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Can you get me to Stella Bay? Good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? So no? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. You have to crack the thesaurus. Just to be clear, I believe. Mm, indeed. Uh. Oh. Tell me about the guns. my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. Mm hmm They're here to keep the peace, of course. Watching your back. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. Keep calling the officers on the prom promenade benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates? Yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. Back to Ask the questions. Away. Okay, see you later. Uh, I see. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. And we've got one, two, three on guards. Oh, that one's for pretty cheap, though. Pick up OSI Pyramid. Can I do that? I mean, okay. I picked up a pyramid. Fine. Uh, alrighty. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. For so, what now? What quest do we have? Alright, so we basically talked to everybody upstairs. Okay, so we have to get a monarch for that one. So let's pick a different quest. Uh, okay, so the ethically flexible spaces. We gotta talk to somebody in sublight. Um, the cleaning machine, that's in Roseway as well. Uh, check in with Pavati back on the ship to do... Talk to Pavati. Oh, okay, let's go talk to Ellie. Now that we've paid a huge load of cash. CNP pancake mix. Now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. <laughs> don't mix Wish it. I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square a debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Hiya! The good news came through the wireless. 
Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Yeah. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. Okay. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Are you saying you'll work for me because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. Competent's but good. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Uh, what did Jesse do for she you? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. Uh-huh. You don't like owing people, it's do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Uh-huh. Okay. Vic and Max, you head back to the Welcome ship. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi. Something on your mind? I want to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Okay. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Uh, tell me about the zero-G cocktail. Mix whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Uh, so you never know what you're getting. Exactly. That's what makes them fun. Okay. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Alrighty. Do you have much experience with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Uh, what's this supposed to There's mean? There's a lot of business that goes through the groundbreaker. Some of it's board-authorized freight hauling, and some of it's not. Okay. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Okay. Sounds Glad good. It. It's worked for me this long. Uh, I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. Okay. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. Okay. That about covers it. Where are you from? How'd you get in the line oh, of work? Come on. That stuff's boring. Look, uh... the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. True. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. Yeah. Done. No complaints here. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, nice. Okay, so we picked up a new companion. Oh, okay, so what are we trying to do here? Um, the radiators, weapons from the void. Looking in Gladys's shop. For old records. Oh. Right. Let's go back and talk to Gladys real fast. Hi, Gladys. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Okay. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Right, so where is... I nearly had 10,000 gold, probably. Hmm. Ah, old data pad. Oh, wow, that's a lot of DPS. That's worth a lot of money, too. An old data pad once used by Groundbreakers, Mardet, Security Forces, and the accumulated Justin Grant hasn't been accessed for over a decade. Okay, let's get it then. And this is Archive Cartridge. Contains public records of the Hephaestus mining outpost in Cilia. Can be used viewing the captain's terminal. Alright, well I guess we're buying both of those. 
E. And E. The data pad contains insert reports from Mardet's security patrols, details of finds and dust ups. Two entries being marked for later character. Respond to a code of idiots <laughs> at the last hope. Vera asks us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Dragon full gone into a scuffle with one of Engineer Tennyson's boys. People. Uh, we tossed the rug leech back down the bays. Arsol fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. Is this some new hammersmith marketing stunt? I'm playing to Santina. Santia, sorry. Had another run in with the rug leech from Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off the docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hullhead's got to come out eventually. Okay. Great. So. The repair bay off bay 13, hey? That sounds good. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Finhill, I noticed your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Mm. No, it don't. Sometimes we can just be friendly. Uh, alright. Bay, repair bay 13? Are there any repair bays up here or not? Ooh. Taint didn't do nothing up around here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. <gasps> oh, well, well, what is that? Okay. Show him. We try again. Did you save? I'll just reload if we need to. Can I? Is there a double jump? Ah, oh, okay. So a double jump, a uh, double space, whereas a dodge back. Okay. So, I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna try and go this way. Okay. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> now, what do we got here? <laughs> you guys are gonna make it, or are you just gonna keep jumping forever? Ooh, flamethrower? Nightingale step. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh, that sounds real good. Heavy ammo. Ooh, what is that up there? Huh. Nope. Can I get up there or not? Sure can. Huh. Whoa, what is that? Okay, the real question is, can I get over there? Ah. 
god, okay. Yeah! Nope. But, rather than go the whole way around, I'm just going to reload that one and see what we can do. I'm just checking how long the episode's been going for. So it doesn't run too long. Is there any way to get over there, though? I actually don't know. Ah, I jumped quite a long way there, though, with a sprint. Oh, yes, baby! I actually, I don't think I really got anything great there. I mean, it was fine. Okay, well then, um, dust start. Oh! You take real good care of your pistol, Doctor Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. Talk to each other, ladies. Okay, well that was sure interesting. Now I guess we need to go in on the restricted zone and see what we can find out. So we will do another save. Oh! No, we are restricted here, but we are not wearing... Oh, I see! We are actually around the back, but it's fine because we got ourselves an invite from Lee Flores. So it is okay. Right. Well, that was cool. That was way cool. I'm going to actually have a look at the workbench because... Um... Actually, modify armor. Because what was that super cool... mod that we picked up? Shield protector. Oh, that'd be cool. Because did I not pick up a... Nightingale. Volume of footsteps, radius of footsteps sound. That's cool. Okay, so... Yeah. Let's install that, because why not? Uh, alrighty. Anything else that's good here? Oh, I see, I can install, like, what, one of each type? Um, look, let's install the silver tongue kit. Oh, okay, and then I can put in one gadget. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, sure. Why not? I mean, I've got so many mods, right? Okay, so now I can't put... Okay, so probably I can replace an existing mod. Fantastic. Okay, well... What have we got? No. Uh, ranged weapon spread. I'm going to save those because I had some other ranged mods back at the ship. So, um, right. Well, that seems like an excellent spot to leave it. 
So thank you very much for watching. Uh, it was lovely to see you again. Let me know what you think of the game so far in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. And thank you for watching. Which I said already. But I'll say it again. And I will catch you next time. Bye.